Hi everybody, Mark the Flicker Feathers again today. Time to be duck fly merger. <clears throat> Cracking little midge pattern. Um, obviously, I mean, obviously designed for the duck fly in Ireland, but you don't need to go to Ireland to use it. Um, it'll work for buzzer feeders everywhere, because a duck fly is just a buzzer. Um, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description. Along with a link to my Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel, where you'll get access to the monthly Zoom meetings, um, tying sessions, some other stuff, and you'll also be entered into the giveaways. You can also just subscribe, hit the bell button, that's all I appreciate it. So I've got my hook on my vice, it's a size 12 and it's a, a V160 Camazan. Tie these 10s to 14s really. Uh, you can use a fill and mill shot, something special if you don't have the Camazans where you live. And I've run on some black uni in 8 0. Now I'm going to tie a wee silver tag, so I'm just at the start of the bend, I'm just going to catch in this flat tinsel. And I'm going to come right around the bend a bit and then back up. As always when I tie a tag, a wee bit of super glue on the thread it just makes it last that much longer I'm just going to wind this up catch it in and then tidy up this tinsel, try to keep it from rolling around the body too much because it's just a thread body in this fly. Trim away the waist and the ribs, uh, silver wire, just fine silver wire. I'm just going to catch it in at the front here while I'm while my threads up from tying in the tinsel. Just drop back on my side and go back and touch and turns. I'm going to come back slightly. I'm actually got to go over the the start of the tag. Just makes for a very smooth transition, right? Because I've tied the tinsel flat across, it's the same. It's the same height. Um, so when I take the thread over, it just there's no a bump, and then come back up. And I've got a nice smooth thread body. Now for the rib, I'm just going to take a full turn at the back, and then I'll come up the body and. Evenly spaced turns. So about four or five will do the body. You can tie it off. Bend and break away your wire. The wings on this fly are just hackle tips. Um, I'm using like a sort of Chinese neck here. Any kind of cheap, low grade necks ideal for this. Um, Probably an Indian, if you can get a, a nice creamy white Indian neck, you'll get actually a better shape, um, I think. But you use what you've got. So I'm just going to pair up the tips and I'm going to strip them back. Just check them lengthwise. It's no bad. Now I'm going to pull them in anyway, so I'm, I'm not too fussed about um, 
where I let the length when I tie them in. Right. I always like to just get them and then slide them into position. And draw them back until they're just about the length of the hook. Or they're coming to the back of the hook, I should say, they're not as long as the whole hook. Now when I'm happy with the position, I can tighten them up. These stems are really thin, so there's no reason not to fold them back and make them a bit more secure. There we go. And I've got something like this. And a wee thorax base of fluorescent red sulfur. You could use orange as well, I suppose that would be nice. Right, don't overdo your wee thorax space there. And then the head, hackle is just a black hen. Uh, tied relatively sparsely. Now the number of turns will depend on the quality of your hackle. This hackle's quite uh, fine in the barb. So I'm maybe need a ton more than I would if I was using say one of my other hen hackle capes that I've got in my packet there that are a bit thicker. Um for you know I'd keep if you've got I mean these are just Indian hen necks, they're cheap. Uh if you've got a couple in your your tying kit, your materials, you'll probably find ones really good for like river flies and wee sparse flies like this. You know, and then you might have another one that's a bit thicker and better for your head hackles on your lock flies. Like your bumbles and what have you, or your bibios or you know, any of your sort of palmered top droppers. So I've tied that in with the tip, folded it back and I've just pinched away the waist of the hackles to the tip. And I'm just going to wind this, I'm just going to fold it and take a wrap. And just put your turns in, one in front of the other, nice and close. There's two, no, I'll get one more. There we go, that's three wraps, that's enough. Catch that off, fold everything back, just tidy up and build your head. When you're happy, you can just whip finish. Put it nice and tight. Just break away the hackle. And there you go. A lovely wee emergent duck fly. As I say, like don't think don't think you need to be an island, but like, if you fish a log this buzzers up near the surface. Black buzzers, this is absolutely deadly. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye.